Malware is one of the most well-known types of cybersecurity attacks and is at its core any program or file that is harmful to a computer. You probably already know some of these types of malwares. Computer viruses, worms, Trojan horses, spyware, adware and more. Stuxnet is probably one of the most famous industrial scale examples of malware in history. A highly sophisticated computer worm that targeted Iran's nuclear program, it caused substantial damage to Iran's nuclear centrifuges significantly setting back the country's nuclear program. Let's take a look at the different kinds of malware. Number one, computer viruses. Viruses are a type of malware that self-replicates by inserting its own code and modifying other computer programs. Viruses require user interaction to propagate. They typically spread through infected files that are shared between computers, such as email attachments, infected software downloads, pen drives, and more. Number two, computer worms. Computer worms are self-replicating, self-contained malware programs whose primary purpose is to infect other computers by duplicating. Worms are often spread by exploiting vulnerabilities or poor network security and are trickier to detect because they can spread silently and without user interaction. Number three, Trojan horses. Trojan horses are malware that misleads users by pretending to be legitimate software programs such as games, utilities, or security tools. The term comes from the ancient Greek story of the deceptive Trojan horse that led to the fall of Troy. Trojan horses can lead to data theft, unwanted remote access, spying, and outright destruction of a target's data. Number four, spyware. Spyware gathers information about a person in an organization without their knowledge and sends the information to an attacker. This can include sensitive and personal information such as keystrokes, login credentials, browsing history, emails, chat conversations, and so much more. The information is then sent to a remote server controlled by hackers for various purposes, including identity theft, fraud, advertising, and espionage. Different kinds of malware do different things, but at the end of the day, Malware seeks to damage, disrupt, or gain unauthorized access to computer systems. In doing so, it can take partial or full control over a device's operations, leading to sensitive data leaks, spying, and blackware. Malware is frequently installed on computers by shady internet downloads or USB drives, which automatically install the program without the user's approval. Any malware is a cybersecurity risk. Whether the purpose of the malware is to steal sensitive information, expose keystrokes, or even just mine cryptocurrency. There's several ways to protect yourself against malware, including using reputable antivirus software, keeping systems updated, and being cautious of unsolicited downloads and educating users and employees about safe computing practices. One great way to have your cybersecurity basics covered is by undertaking a cybersecurity audit. This could be NIST 853, NIST CSF, SOC 2, ISO 7001, and much more. And if you're looking to get compliant with any kind of framework, look no further than Compliance Automation and Sprinto. Sprinto helps companies get compliant with over 15 plus frameworks by digitizing and automating the compliance process. This means that you can get compliant faster and more effectively and stay compliant too, year round instead of during an audit cycle improving your cybersecurity. Companies just like yours that get compliant with Sprinto save up to 80% of their time, effort, and cost during the compliance process. To know more, visit Sprinto.com or book a demo directly with our cybersecurity and compliance experts using the link in the description below. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. We'll get back to you as soon as possible.